Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey and I want to talk about Snake Eyes and how Snake Eyes, the 2021 movie, is a disrespect to diversity. Let's get into it. So, as you know, Snake Eyes bombed at the box office. Who was surprised about that? Literally no one. No one was surprised. We told these dummies, we told Paramount Studios not to do it. And you still did it anyway. And you're shocked that it failed. <laughs> Congratulations for, for being real stupid, Hollywood. I just don't understand how dumb you guys can be. Like, if somebody tell you they don't like something, they don't like it. And you still do it anyway? <laughs> make that make sense. <laughs> make that make sense. So, the reason why I want to say Snake Eyes harm diversity is because it was, Snake Eyes, the character itself, was already diverse. Not only was the creator Asian, um, Larry Hama, who created him, and now y'all done tricked him into backpedaling his, his, his stand of, oh, I guess I could have um, originally created him to be an Asian man because reasons. You know what I'm saying? No, that's just stupid. That's just stupid. You intended him to be a blonde hair, blue eyed, scarred face, mute person. You know what I'm saying? And that's another thing. You took away a disability from a character who is popularly known for being damn mute. Make that make sense. It's the same thing with Cassandra Cain. Y'all love talking about y'all love talking about y'all love diversity. But then when the character is already diverse in nature. Y'all took away the the nature part. The character, Snake Eyes, destroyed face, destroyed face, unable to speak, outsider from America that trained with this ninja group where a lot of people didn't think he deserved to be there because he was an outsider, but he proved himself. He trained himself twice as hard to be the one of the number one ninjas at the, at the uh, ninja school that he was training at. Which created the rival with um with Dern Storm Shadow, who was born and bred in, into that life. So you have an outsider that that came in, trained harder than everybody else to be top of the the ranks, while you have a person who was born into it, who was born into it, and trained just as hard, and still can't defeat Snake Eyes, the outsider that they banished. But you thought that was a good... You thought that you needed to change everything about that. You thought that that was a good idea. Oh, hey, let me change everything about Snake Eyes so he's just Snake Eyes only. And that's another thing that y'all get on my nerves with that, Hollywood, is you you will, you will say that it doesn't matter who the actor is for the for the character at, um, as long as they get the background straight. But you fools can't even get the background Correct for the characters. That's the thing that's killing me the most. Y'all can't even get the characters background together at all. Make that make sense. Make that make sense. You know, it, it, it's not that hard. It's, it's really not that hard. Just do it. I mean... These characters are only in name only. Nine times out of ten, they don't even look like the character. And then their personality is so far removed from the character, you just like, screw it. F screw it. You guys can't even, y'all can't even get the characters to even look like the characters anymore. Because y'all so busy on agenda and diversity and inclusion. Everything's not meant for that nonsense. Everything is not meant for it. And way to stereotype every Asian person needs to know martial arts. Because I can tell you, a lot of Asians don't. And on top of that, why would why would Asians want to watch a movie about an Asian American learning the ways of, of martial arts and Kung Fu and ninjas when they got plenty of movies that, that has a person that looks like them doing that? They have several movies. They will be more interested in the white man than, than the Asian person. I'm just being honest. You can get mad all you want to, but th that's the truth. 
Now y'all y'all shocked that the movie didn't do well. Six what what did it say? It said it says sixteen million. Sixteen million <laughs> through for um at the world box office. The world box office. Oh good boy. That does not bode well. But hey, you know, <laughs> that's what y'all wanted. Mm hmm Well, is it? <laughs> 75 million. That is a failure. 75 million worldwide. 75 million worldwide. That's a failure. That's a failure. But, you know, y'all said that people shouldn't listen to the criticism that the fans have. Um, the fans don't know what they're talking about. They're just racist and all kinds of stuff. When most people that had a problem with Snake Eyes changes were Asian people. So the people that you were trying to pander to and get this movie approved for them to watch mm -hmm. are the main ones trashing and bashing the movie the most. So Asians are, are racist against Asians. Make that make sense, y'all. <laughs> make that make sense. But you, but fans had told you not to do this. Fans told you, begged, pleaded you not to do it. And you decided to do it on your own. Now you're upset that you're not getting back, you know, the people. You know, you're mad that you're not getting back the money that was made for the movie. I mean, but that's, that was, that's on you. That's, that is on you. That is, that is definitely on you. What eighty eight million? It looked like the movie was eighty eight million to to make. What that's probably like add another hundred million. Add that to a hundred million for probably reshoots, and of course you have probably the marketing because they were marketing the movie too. They I, I've seen so many commercials, but let's be honest, it was an embarrassment. It was embarrassment because people knew it wasn't Snake Eyes. It wasn't Snake Eyes. Then Hasbro into in some more controversy by removing Cobra Commander's hood, talking about because it's offensive to people. And it's just like, for God's sakes, how many times are we going to have this conversation about what is offensive to people or not? If it's offensive to those people, guess what? They're not going to buy it. But that doesn't mean you make the changes to push away the people who would buy it. If people are still willing to buy it, who cares? Who cares? Is it, it is it if it's hurting? Is it hurting your bottom line? Was it hurting your bottom line? No, it wasn't. So why did you think to change it? Why did you think to change it? You don't know. You don't know. Oh wait, you do know. Diversity, critical race theories, inclusion, and all bull crap. That's all you guys keep doing. That's all you guys keep doing. And it's failed. And you know it's bad when M. Night Shyamalan's old is doing better in the box office than Snake Eyes right now. But hey, you know... You know, we're just toxic fans, apparently, who don't like the character, even though Snake Eyes is a fan favorite character for a reason. And it didn't have anything to do with his skin color. But, you know, I, I, I don't understand. I don't think you guys understand. People like their characters to stay who they are. When you make changes to them, people get annoyed and agitated. And that turns people off. The more you turn people off, the less support you get. So at some point, you got to look at self. You got to look at self. That's just the end of the conversation. Tell me what you guys think. Comment below, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.